Hey guys, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my YouTube channel Coaching. Today I would like to show you that what is the storybook, how you can use this storybook, we will create a CI-CD pipeline inside GitLab, the CI-CD pipeline will build our storybook and create a Docker image, based on this Docker image we will run our storybook inside the Docker container, we will secure it with username and password, and uh, we will use Nginx configuration to do that. After that we will check the storybook inside our web browser and check out its functionality. So let's get started. It's highly recommended to use the storybook for UI libraries. So it's a React component package and you can see here that on the left side I can select my components and I can try out uh, in the preview section of storybook. So I can set the props of the component here and uh, we can see the result uh, in real time. You can try out the mobile view and the desktop view as well, if you have for your components. I think this storybook is a very cool uh, tool. If you would like to demonstrate your components and for a component like this, this pie chart, I set up that I would like to use range selector for the person prop and color picker for the color props. I will show you later how to do that. So this storybook is nothing more than a web application where we can try out our components. Here is the official web page of storybook. So here you can open the get started section and you can uh, uh, install the storybook for your environment. In this tutorial we are going to use the storybook for a React application which was created with the CRA tool. So this project was created by the CRA tool. Here you can see the installed dependencies for storybook. I will describe them later. Please install them and here we have the run and the build uh, script of storybook in the package.json2. So after you installed the storybook, please create a .storybook folder and the main.js there. Here we set up that where the system will find our stories and also we set up our uh, used add-ons. For example, the preset create react app is one line create react app configuration for storybook and the storybook uh, add-ons links uh, can be used to create links that navigate between stories in storybook and the, finally the add-on essentials is a created collection of add-ons to bring out the best of storybook uh, it's for actions backgrounds controls and other things okay the next file is the manager.js we set up our storybook theme here we have a, a theme file too in the storybook theme.js we set up our own uh, theme for storybook. We have uh, a known logo and we can set up title and uh, any other things. Okay, the last file here is the preview.js. We can set up uh, preview settings here, for example, the background options of uh, the preview section uh, inside storybook, but also if your components are using uh, material UI theme, then we can set up a theme uh, selector here. And also we have to set up the theme provider and CSS baseline components for the material UI theme. So here you can see that I'm using the theme provider and I pass in the theme that the theme selector is providing us by uh, the storybook. And uh, the selectable theme is coming from my own theme file which is used by the theme provider in uh, our original application so if your uh, components are using material ui then you can set up your uh, theme selector here which uh, can be used to select your uh, material ui theme and it is passed in the theme provider so the components inside the storybook stories uh, will use this exact material UI theme. Okay, now let's see that how to write a story. So first we can uh, create the story meta. Here 
you can set up archetypes, arguments and parameters for the props for example so we can set up our title and here I set up two variants of this button one uh, for the start icon and the end icon for example so you can group your stories the main group is the button and you can pass uh, you can put variants under it for example regarding the pie chart component that I showed you before at the start of the video uh, I can set up that uh, I need color pickers for the color props and range selector for the person prop also I can set up the default uh, values for it you can uh, run your storybook with the start storybook command that I have already shown you uh, in the package.json but now we will create our docker file and we will run storybook inside docker so I am defining two stages the first is coming from the node uh, image I'm calling it builder and I'm copying inside everything that I need with to build the storybook and after that uh, I'm running the npm ci command to install the dependencies and with the, uh, the build storybook command I'm building the storybook after that I'm switching to the nginx image and I'm copying the build static storybook files from the previous stage to here uh, so I'm setting up the work directory and copying the files and uh, after that I'm copying the nginx configuration that I defined uh, in my projects folder inside and uh, here you can see my nginx configuration I'm setting up a basic uh, authentication tool I'm using password to create the uh, password and uh, I'm copying the configuration and the password file inside and after that I'm running the HTTP server which will serve our static code you can try out your docker file with the docker build command so you can build your uh, docker image and you can run with the docker run command and you can try out your uh, running storybook but we will use a CI CD pipeline to build our docker image inside uh, uh, GitLab. We were using this Conico Docker executor which is for uh, building Docker uh, images inside a Docker container. It's very useful inside the uh, GitLab CI pipelines. So you can use Conico to build and uh, push your Docker image into your container registry. So you can uh, use build args to pass in uh, environment variables for example and uh, you can uh, set up the destination to where you want to push your uh, build with docker images and also we are using the docker file from our project directory so uh, this build storybook is a, s a manual stage for uh, me in this example and uh, I'm using the Conico docker image and uh, with this line we are able to push our uh, build and push our docker image to the right registry in my case it's two different registries but you have to define only one and uh, yeah here you can see that my pipeline was succeeded after that if your pipeline is working you can create some deployment scripts which uh, grabs your uh, build it docker image from the right uh, container registry and deploy it to the right environment so your ci cd pipeline or flow will be uh, complete Okay guys, thank you very much for watching, it was my basic tutorial about storybook. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will find many interesting tutorials on this channel in the future too. So, and please press the like button as well. Have a nice day and bye.